Recording, recording. Okay. Good? Spin drift. <sighs> Quench your thirst and feel good about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not sponsored by Spin Drift. <laughs> good evening, afternoon, morning. morning. Good morning, <laughs> whenever you're saying this. And welcome to AMZ Seller Real Talk. My name is Curtis Johnson. This is Jade Coleman. And we have our amazing guest, Doug Joyce. Yay. 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 Welcome, Doug. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Um, I figure we don't need to introduce ourselves four episodes in, right? No. Yeah. We can let people they, watch they can go the back, other videos. Backwards. And there's me. You're welcome. Oh, God. <laughs> I was hoping we would never bring out the sound effects on that board. <laughs> <laughs> but he's done it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, diving right in. Um, you know what's actually awesome is that I actually know nothing about you. Mm -hmm. So in, in the case of this episode, we're going to get to hear about you. Sure. And um, I'm actually going to learn something, so that's kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, so, Doug, uh, you're an Amazon seller, obviously. Uh -huh. How long have you been selling? Uh, rolling up on six years now, I think. Okay, six years. Yeah. Good. Either five or six. Pleasant experience? Mostly pleasant, not always pleasant. Not always pleasant. Mostly, <laughs> I had a few... I've had a few uh, bumps in the road. Yeah, mm, we less, all have less than others, but uh, not a totally smooth ride. But yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, okay, well then, I guess pre Amazon, like oh. what what would be your what's your track? Yeah, pre Amazon, I was kind of all over the place a little bit. <clears throat> uh, just pre, I was um, I was a VP at a software company, a CAD CAM company, okay. right? And um, I mean, pre pre, I was a engine guy, race car guy. I worked at a speed shop. Wow, cool. And so that's why I was into the CAD CAM, uh, yeah, software. We we're gonna maybe open up a, a machine shop, um, but you know, and also at the same time, I had a landscape business going on the side. Cool. Mm. Um, and. You know, it, it seems a little disrelated. It's totally disrelated. <laughs> yeah, like completely disrelated. <laughs> it's totally disrelated. The, 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 the details on that are, I lived in Minnesota for five years. Uh-huh. And I had a lawn and snow company there. Mm. And then when I moved down here, I, I ditched it, obviously. Uh, but yeah, then no I, snow. I can't imagine why. <laughs> well, we did. We do free, free snow removal down here. Mm. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was our tagline. <laughs> good, good amount of hits, I'm sure, on that one. Yeah. Got a lot of business. <laughs> Anyway, so um, you know, I was doing the uh, the the software company, and that was like paying the bills and so on. Mm -hmm. But I knew it wasn't what I wanted to do, and it wasn't going to take me where I wanted to go. Right. right. So I started the lawn business because I surveyed some stuff, and there was definite uh, needs that I could fill. Mm -hmm. And I had that going. Um, I did it myself for a month or two on the weekends, and then I built it up and had someone else running it entirely. Nice. Yeah. And um, and I was just stockpiling that money. I mean, stockpiling makes it sound like I was making a ton of money. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> but I was just accumulating that money from that for whatever the next thing would be. But I knew I would need to have money for something that could go big. Right. And so that was just there. And, um, and that actually is what funded the start of me on Amazon. Awesome. Yeah. Now, did you get in through ASM as well? Yeah. Or? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I was amazing selling machine for anyone who doesn't five, know. Five, okay. five or six. Okay, five, I think. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, my uh, my brother in law sent me the videos, and I was like, "Oh, this is yeah. perfect." Yeah. <laughs> but I had just started my lawn business like maybe a month or two earlier. Oh. Uh, and I didn't want to jump off of that and jump into this. Right. Um, Hence the stockpiling. Yeah. <clears throat> so you know. And, and it was probably eight or nine months before I really got something rolling because mm -hmm. I, I did have, I was going to do a tape, a gaffer tape was my first mm. product. Oh, right? okay. And, we could use them. Huh, and how interesting. <laughs> we could, we could yeah, use them. right. It would be perfect for them, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But like got some I, loose cords that could be taped down. <laughs> I had like yeah. samples from China and it was like ready to rock and I, I stalled out on picking the brand name. I'm like, mm. oh, I, wow. got, I got a survey. It's got to be good. And then I like messed around for like two or three months, came back and there was like sellers doing like 50K a month with the dumbest gaffer tape names you could wow. even possibly yeah. imagine. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like Gaffalicious. pulling my hair out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I'm like, okay, well, I'm not doing gaffer tape anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, 
I mean, it, it could have been good. Like, because yeah. you have, uh, what's that black tape that they have that's everywhere? Kinsey, uh, Gaffer tape. No, the, uh, tape. no, no. The, for the muscles? <laughs> the muscle no, no, no. no. Oh, okay. It's like, it's like uh, Gorilla tape. Yeah, yeah, oh, Gorilla yeah. tape. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That stuff's everywhere. Yeah. Home yeah. Depot is yeah. like a whole wall of it. Gorilla, yeah. everything. Right. They glue, do glue and yeah, tape. And, yeah. White tape, clear tape. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Even duct tape. Now now yeah, it's not sure. just yeah, silver. Gorilla, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's black duct tape. Pink. Uh-huh. White. <clears throat> yeah, green. Pink. Yeah, they have yeah. pink. Everything. So Geometric designs. They're just <laughs> roll, mean, rolling out the skews. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, okay. So then you started with that. Didn't go with it. No. Yeah. Dumped it and switched gears and started something else. Uh, a brand that I still have now. And that's my main brand. Um, so second hint was your... Winner. Mm-hmm. Wow. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the first product I did, I imported from South America, I think. Oh, wow. And um, what? Yeah. You never hear that. So yeah. It's always China. <laughs> it's always China. I thought you were going to say, like, South China. Yeah. But um, it was a meat product. Okay. Wow. And South America is, like, beef capital to the world. Okay. Even to China. Okay. Damn. And um, I imported it, and, you know, when I get the bills for the importation, I'm like, oh man, it's gonna cost me five bucks a pop to sell one of these bad boys. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, screw it, I'm doing it anyway. It's cost of doing business. Yeah, yeah. I'll learn. And um, and interestingly, that is sort of, you know, I really enjoy that mindset because like two weeks in, I realized, okay, if I put these two together, mm-hmm. I double the price, same FBA fee, right. and now I'm making 15 bucks a pop. Right, like two different products or? No, same just product. Just two quantity. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Just making yeah. a two pack. Two pack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't we, even sell it singular, two only. Yeah, we did that to take the market from, sometimes we used to sell for other people. I think we it's funny them. that she's just like, oh yeah, yeah, and I'm over here like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we did that to take the market from, uh, from some sellers that were already selling mm-hmm. a product and we were trying to help out a friend to st- sell the product um, because it was initially their product and then everyone else jumped on board, somehow got the same thing. Anyway, we did a two pack, we did a three pack and a four pack and then we took the market mm-hmm. back mm-hmm. Um, nice. that way. So yeah, yeah, because it's always were, a smart way to do The other sellers it. were violating the the map policy yeah. from, from the mm. seller. Yeah, mm-hmm. they were. Minimum advertised price for anyone that doesn't know. Mm-hmm. Right. Wow. Yeah, so we that's how we captured the market back. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, um, yeah, you know, little things like that. I'm also a fan of uh, size variations. Yes. Or big, you mm-hmm. know, you, you could sell this here for, you know, let's say you're doing 50 bucks a month with this. Yeah. Okay, well, if I sell a bigger size, and now I do 15 bucks a month with that one, mm-hmm. it doesn't take away from this. Right. Right. And so you're just, it's just easy money. Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. anyway, that was a little little thing I stumbled upon early on and um, kept going and then picked another product and just, you know, and then and then my supplier, I said, well, what else do you have? Because that's <laughs> easy. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's easy way to go. Yeah. What else do you got that I might like? And... Um, you know, expand it out with that supplier a little bit, and uh, and and that's how I started. Nice. How many brands do you have? I have two brands. Okay. Yeah, one does good. The other suffers. Um, the other one, honestly, uh, about a year ago, I thought was going to eclipse my other one. Mm. Um, but um, you know, I got I got kicked in the kicked in the groin, kick, kicked in the Netherlands <laughs> a little bit, and uh, you know, by Amazon, Amazon or yeah, okay. no, by Amazon. Yeah. And you know, and, 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 and like two years ago, I had I launched a product on that second brand and it mm-hmm. was doing really well. And then like Black Hat stuff came in and took me out. Right? Oh wow. And I'm telling my friend of this, my friend about this, and he was at this Black Hat conference in New York City. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And he's like, dude. There's a conference for Black Hats. Meaning it, like what to yeah. do against them yeah. no, or no, no. like wow. how to techniques. beat Black Hat. <laughs> wow. Like, how to like beat the system. Sponsored by Amazon. Like Chinese dudes in the room. <laughs> well, right. now, now, yeah. Like it was the real deal. Sure. Yeah. And and my buddy's like, he was there. He paid like 20 grand to go. And he's like, dude, he hacked your product on the screen. <gasps> no. And I'm like, dude, that was my product. And now my product is destroyed. 
and because he used mine as an example wow. for the crowd to wow. show this is how you do it. <gasps> yeah. Now, Man, like, that is because you mentioned, or it just like, no, no, no. Hap- He's he just picked it randomly because I sh- told Cause my buddy what well. it was. Yeah. You know, I was like, oh yeah, this one is hacked. He's like, oh dude, actually, that just happened. Yeah. <laughs> I saw him happen. do that. <laughs> I didn't oh know it was yours. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So so on the second And you brand, didn't go beat the shit out of the guy? Well, I mean, how... It's like, long gone. You, I don't know yeah. what it is. I mean, like, I, I, what do you do? I mean, you don't have any protection, so... You got nothing. No, and I mean, now brand registry, that's helpful, Yeah, this but, is pre... This yeah. was pre-registry. Yeah, which is uh, why all this came about. Yeah. And um, what we covered in news the other day, Amazon won... I right. think um, is a new system that helps with hackers and hijackers. And oh, really? Like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Dang. Fortunately, I don't get, I don't really get hijackers. Yeah. I mean, as far as that stuff goes, I'm really fortunate. Like yeah. guys deal with hijackers and and bad reviews and you know com- competitor trying to tank your listing. Right. Yeah. I don't have too much of that. Fortunately, that's good. Yeah, I think I think it just depends on what you're at, what product you have, how competitive it is, because. We've been all over the boards with everything, but we've mm. also been in for 10 years, so yeah. we've seen. You've had enough time to see everything. Yeah, yeah, you know. Um, but so, okay, so that happened, and then now, was that before? Because you've expanded off of Amazon and into mm. other areas. Was that before or after, or? Uh, that was around the same time, I think. Okay, so then now you're before. in other areas. Uh, <clears throat> ish, I mean, um, so uh, it's in the pet niche. Right, mm-hmm. and um, both the, both your products or just the one yeah, that you expanded off? Okay, both brands, yeah. okay. So um, I reached out to Chewy dot com. Mm-hmm. And I wanted them. small brand. Yeah, you need small operation, <laughs> <laughs> and it was crickets. You know, I heard nothing. Yeah. Then, like eight weeks later, they reached out to me, and I thought they were returning my call. Yeah. But they weren't. Hmm. They they were like, oh, you called. <laughs> I'm like, right, well, they're we, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, oh, we're returning your call, of yeah. course. I'm like, well, right, well, we can forget about that because yeah. they're like, we want to sell your brand. Yeah. And um, so I played hard to get. I'm like, well, you know, how do I know? <laughs> Are you guys I actually go, legit? Yeah, I need to check out your operation. <laughs> so so they were in Fort Lauderdale, so we drove over there. Oh, that's not yeah. far. Yeah. And I got the whole grand tour of the place. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I mean, it's impressive. Turns yeah. out it was legit. It's legit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they're they're uh, the things that blew me away the most are the extracurricular activities they do for their customers. Like on January first, they start handwriting Christmas cards for that year. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow! Yeah. They spend hey, like that's smart. They that's spend smart. like four million dollars a year oh, in handwritten Christmas cards. Oh my god! Okay. Wow. They have they do portraiture. <laughs> like customers send in pictures of their dogs all the time. So what they do is they take random 300 photos of dogs and they have like legit artists paint a picture of your dog and send it to you as a gift. Oh, and wow. not like painted with the Chewy logo in the corner <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. or some yeah, dumb some, yeah. like that, right? And, 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 and that's millions of dollars. Wow. It costs millions of dollars. Wow. But I mean, that's that's retaining your customer. Yeah, that's that brand like loyalty. That's, really, yeah, yeah, really brand loyalty for sure. You know, they have a phone room there, and their their leading statistic is time on the phone. So they're like, you know, if you talk on the phone with a customer for seven hours, yeah, you get a bonus. Well, and and I know that yeah. Zappos has the same kind of perspective on that too they've got massive phone room and if mm. they like literally it's a competition in yeah. the phone room who can stay on the yeah. phone the longest but that it's almost crazy. that almost seems counterproductive you would think no. but it, for them it's a dual statistic so it's time on the phone but then also the five star review that comes with it okay. so if you're sitting there just you know blowing smoke up some guys you know what yeah obviously he's not gonna give you five star review yeah, yeah. So you kind of have to have yeah. both I guess sides with Zappos, of it. Well, I mean, I guess with both of them, if you if you're working like on the phone and you turn yourself into a personal yeah. shopper assistant for them, yeah, and, like, yeah, help you're, them. you're helping them out. And that's their thing. It's, it's their customer and, and chewy. Policy. People call in. That, oh, let me tell you about my doggy and so blah, 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 and they'll talk for hours about their dog, <laughs> and and then you become their friend. Yeah. And. Are they going to shop somewhere else? No, no, because no, they can call you yeah. back up and be yeah. like, "Oh, okay, so this yeah. is what happened today." Right, hundred percent. Yeah, my dog made a, a paw print. 
yeah. thing for me at daycare, Aww. doggy daycare. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, their operation was pretty big, and I said, I was like, how much do you guys spend to acquire a customer? They're like, oh, $7,000. What? Dang. And I'm like, whoa. So I'm like, I, okay. So I was thinking of maybe competing with that and selling on my own website. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. I'll just, sure, take my products. <laughs> Sell them, please. Yeah. <laughs> Sell them quickly. Now, do you do inserts in your packages? So I'm that, just trying to fathom okay. $7,000. So yeah. then you got to think of how many bags of dog food they've got to sell oh, in yeah. order to well i mean they have huge. the they have yeah. the monthly thing that they send out you know like you can get your monthly chewy box not that i know because i don't have an animal i know me neither so <laughs> mm. but i have friends that have um mm-hmm. dogs and and things like that and they get right. these monthly boxes and um care packages and things like that so people pay you know because i mean dog well, dog parents is like a big thing nowadays yeah. or it's huge yeah, yeah. oh yeah but seven thousand dollars that's a lot and how do you make it back a little like, steep yeah. well here's the thing they don't Mm. They don't. So they, then they're running in the red. They're, they've been running in the red since time immemorial. Well, it seems to be like a winning business philosophy right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. but <laughs> Maybe if you're on Wall Street. <laughs> yeah, right? Uber and blah, blah, blah. So that's why they sold the business. It was two, two guys from Canada who started it. Wow. And they sold it, what I was told when I was there, is because they were sick and tired of fundraising every year to make up for the deficit. Mm. So, you know, they have this business model. And this is... You know, what's going to come now is my opinion. <clears throat> they have this business model which runs in the red. So these big VC guys yeah. s- scap it up and then unload the turd mm-hmm. onto the American population via Wall Street. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they take this, they bought it for like. Oh, and then that's how they can raise their money, yeah. their capital. That's oh how they get, they, so they bought it for like $4 billion or $3.4 billion, something like that, <clears throat> running in the red. Okay, let's go public. Mm. The the VC guys take it public, cash out big time. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, it's a failing, you know, it's not a profitable model. No. And now it's public on on Wall Street. Everyone's like, "Oh, take my money." Doug, did I mention like, to you that I was in finances? Mm. Keyword. Was. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Daggum. Okay, so, so now now the public are prof, uh, you know, supporting it, but that's, that's right. not going to it's not going to run forever. That no, a- I uh, I pulled my product from there. Wow. Because um, now wait a second. So you pulled your product from there. So it, it's not even just enough that the business as an entity wasn't doing well. That must have meant that you were doing better on Amazon than you were doing through them. Yeah, I was. I mean, I was. Um, they weren't carrying all my SKUs either. Okay. But they liked my brand because they said your brand is growing faster than our platform. Wow. wow. So um, So they were kind of trying to ride on your coattails, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, I'm they, sure to a small degree. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, if you pull, if you pull, <laughs> if, you pull <laughs> if you pull, if you pull enough people like, company. <laughs> <laughs> if you pull enough people like him, you know, that's, that's growing that's very that's fast. The thing. Then yeah. like they wanted, I was a brand that they wanted to keep. They didn't want to like, yeah, yeah. We need your warehouse space for, for something like better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they wanted that, um, and. Um, but you know, um, after they went public, I had problems with with finances with them. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. hey, they're um, still there. Yeah, yeah, they're still there. <laughs> and and I started to look at it, and you know, they're carrying. You know, I had some uh, payables from them where they owed me mm-hmm. money, receivables, depending yeah. on who your yeah. your perspective. Right, right, right. And uh, and it's like mounting. And I see there, I'm like, okay. And then I get like trouble with invoicing and they pay me the wrong amount and then they, they're late. Mm, and then I'm like, All okay. these little red flags. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm like, Bureaucratic well, let me check out their, their uh, stock price. And it's like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay. I'm getting out of here. Peace. You know? Peace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, they declare like... bankruptcy and I'm left holding the six figure bag. Right. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Yeah, because so you get I, drugged down in there. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not like I was doing a ton of money with right. them. Right. And so I figured the money that, that you know, because I was growing every month with them, mm-hmm. so I was never seeing any profit because it was always just more inventory, more inventory, more inventory, mm. and you're on a net 90, okay? <laughs> so I never see my money. So I'm like, okay, I can take the money I'm investing in this channel and invest in my own website and right. recoup in no time. Right, yeah. right. 
Plus so then how, is your website so then, doing yeah, well? Yeah, what are your outlets now? It's okay. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, I sell on Amazon. I sell on my website, and that's it. Okay. Are you considering doing Walmart? Because Walmart is building no. up now. No? Okay. No. Ooh, that was definitive. Yeah. No. no. I know. I went, I, I looked early you on. You, like, fished for that one. Yeah, you? I did. Well, could they, <laughs> I did. I did. I like, I fish for these things. I want to know what I should be doing. Yeah. Or what, you know, if my opinion is the same as others or what, so. Mm. So why not Walmart? Why no? Because um, uh, one, I don't want my brand there. Mm-hmm. As a, as a, like a, an association. Yeah. Okay. My people. Not that I, I don't, don't know, understand that. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> yeah. My people. I don't think my people go to Walmart. Right. Sure. I was just um, thinking Walmart.com nowadays is they're trying to compete with Amazon.com. Before, you know, it was a little like I've had well, friends okay, who said I, no, and so, then now they're reconsidering. Mm-hmm. So. I can understand from like a branding perspective. Yeah. like, so I'm just starting out on Amazon, mm-hmm. but I've been doing branding stuff for a while. But yeah, you don't want to take something that's got people of whatever Walmart. reputation and right. branding is what it is, whether it's fair or not. And Walmart has a brand have that a brand. is what it is. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you can't fight that nope. until they change not it. Not now. Right. It's like, it's like trying to turn the Titanic with a... <laughs> With a toothpick. <laughs> Not going to happen. Especially right. since it's underwater. <laughs> <laughs> right. Even more so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So okay, well, that um, makes sense. Yeah. Plus, plus, they require a huge and very specific infrastructure for your fulfillment, mm. which I don't have. Mm. Mm. Okay. I didn't know if they were still doing that because this year specifically, they've been mm. changing, making a lot of changes. Oh. So. So maybe it's but, different, but I'm but I'm, again, not, I'm not running a seller. I'm 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 right there with you. Justin, on the other hand, is like put it everywhere, <laughs> yeah. everywhere, and I'm like, but you can't just you can't just do that, you know? Yeah, you have to, you know, because you know there there's there's enough meat on the bone easily with where I'm at now to double. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Without adding new channels, new systems, new bookkeeping, like all that stuff is taxing. Right. You it know? is. But if I can just do the basics, add some key SKUs, branch out a little bit, and double, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Let's double. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, Love and Justin, Justin's gone. The building. I know. Jesus. What's the matter? Oh, is the pl- <laughs> did you hear that plumbing sound? It was good. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to say, Justin stepped out to go and handle Lorelai because she started snuffling. No, 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 it wasn't that. It was okay. just some, like there's like a pipe that must be running over your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And every yeah. now and then just decides to sound great. Yeah. Um, so so then um, do you still have faith in Amazon? Because sometimes I get a little shaken since we were deactivated for faith two in months. Amazon. Oof. Well, two it's months. sort of an interesting yeah. question because it's also like it's hard to ignore a, a platform where it's. You can't. It's doing this. Uh, okay, I know, anyway. I know, I know. Yeah. I mean, my philosophy is, um, do I have faith? Faith's a strong word. Um, <laughs> I'm going to continue to leverage. In general? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to continue to leverage Amazon. Yeah. Um, do I want all my eggs in that basket? No. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, that's Which is asked. why I have a website. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> Which is why I started another brand mm-hmm. on a separate Amazon account. Mm-hmm. Right? So there's some diversification moves you can make to yeah. reduce the risk that's inherent in Amazon. Right. Sure. And I took some hits like uh, a year or two ago. I had a dude hack my account. I had like 35 grand sent to Romania. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. I remember yeah. now. Oh, I remember and, you asking yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so I hired a lawyer, CJ Rosenbaum. Mm. Yeah. And he's apparently guy. on our lineup to get in here oh good hopefully yeah he's a fantastic guy um he got it back for me it took about six months yeah but, but you um, got it back i got it back and uh, interestingly enough i uh, the fbi was at my warehouse a couple weeks ago about that wow <laughs> Yeah, a couple FBI guys. They're like, oh, yeah, so. You're like, you guys want to talk? Just don't go into that room over there. Let's <laughs> just stay in here. <laughs> well, I, I told my guys, my employees, I said, guys, uh, the Please. FBI's come in here. <laughs> I said, but don't worry. They're not here for you. They're here for me. Just keep your mouth shut. I didn't want them to get all <laughs> shifty. I don't think I'm going to prison. Do <laughs> <laughs> you I have knew. anything on you? Just leave the premises. <laughs> yeah. Just go take an early lunch. Johnny, you <laughs> For a leave. while. <laughs> yeah. So I knew they'd get all shifty if the FBI came in. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> so like black suits, the whole thing, or what? no? Guys look like me. No wow, way. you wouldn't even know the difference. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
super cool and yeah. um because they're like yeah the the uh i guess hungary was involved or something i don't know and they're like the hungarian government basically um are busting the guys and okay. they're like uh they want a letter from you as to your losses in that because they're gonna pay you the money back I'm like, wow sweet that's you're awesome. like i think i can take the time to write that letter yeah <laughs> <laughs> So maybe I can recoup the lawyer fees. That would be cool. Because I got my That's money awesome. back. So. Yeah, yeah. But then yeah. you had to pay for the lawyer. And, yeah. Um, plus all your time and everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't really. I wasn't going to bill him for that. Yeah. Even though yeah. I probably I should. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Cost of doing business. Throw a couple like, extra 10, yeah. 10 or fifteen grand on there. I'm, <laughs> I'm valuable a guy. What's your yeah. heartache and therapy time? <laughs> yeah, I'm still traumatized from that. <laughs> got this twitch that just won't go away <laughs> well i remember seeing his because we have a facebook group you know where we all get on there and i remember yeah. seeing his like whole post oh. and the like worry oh. all of us felt yeah, the yeah. worry because it's like you know can happen to anybody yeah yeah because yeah, oh yeah and i so saw i was down for like a week 10 days there i mean i wasn't down i was still selling yeah uh, weirdly but i couldn't access my account Mm, yeah and and every i mean i was i blew amazon up i was on the phone with them twice a day right yeah yeah and the thing was is i never because meaning they hacked it from seller central meaning like yeah. they changed your account info yeah and i okay. looked in the back end and i found records where they were in like two or three weeks earlier <clears throat> poking around changing some things how did they how did how did that happen how did amazon let that happen well they must have got my password my passcode right. it was before two step notification. Oh wow. Okay. okay. And um, you're probably a big part of that then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you and the FBI. <laughs> so um you know. Anyway, so they they uh they did that and I freaked out. Mm hmm And um yeah, they were like changing alerts, changing my alerts beforehand. Oh, so that wow. when they change the banking info, you get a notification. Yeah. So the notification they change it to go else. somewhere else. I mean, that's, I mean, that's smart. But. And they change the email. Let's say my email is like 6YF at Yahoo. They, yeah. they change the notification email to like 6IF at mm. Yahoo. So that on casual glance, you wouldn't even see that it had been changed. Uh, yeah. It looks very similar. Yeah. So... They were pretty sneaky. Yeah, that's actually really, really sneaky. Like yeah, they, impressive. Sneaky. it wasn't their first time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dang. So, yeah, so that happened, and um, that was my first sort of bump in the road. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Biggest bump? Uh, uh, if not, I'd be impressed. If not, what well, is your biggest well, bump? Well, uh, I'm suing somebody right now for trademark <laughs> infringement. Okay. C.J. Rosenbaum helping no, out with it? Okay. No, this is a, a hardcore trademark attorney in Beverly Hills. Yeah. Who's litigation attorney. He's gotten he's gotten things overturned. Wow. Like, he's he's a fighter. Nice. It's great. Yeah. Um, that's going okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and is it, like, something that it's, like, insidiously that way? Like, uh, they straight up just went out of their way and copied? Uh, I don't No, I don't think they searched me out and then, like, oh, we're going to rip off this guy's name. Okay. I don't think it was like that so much, um, and I'm I'm uh, I'm attacking this from the perspective of, you know, where they are. I can't really. I don't see that I can go to, because they're there, mm. and mm. you know that platform or that brick and mortar where they are. Oh, like you're say, blocked. From, yeah, yeah. Because the name is already occupied. trademark infringement. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. And they're like, no, it won't matter. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, but it's even not so much for me. It's on my upon my exit of the company. I don't want the guys coming in to identify that as a block in their road to expand. Because sure. when someone right. buys your company, they yeah. want to see Clean. the easy road yeah. where they can add, you know, fifty percent more revenue in the next two years to recoup their money. Right. And if they're like, oh, we can go brick and mortar. Yeah. Oh wait, no, actually, we can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. That's where my interest lies in handling this issue. That makes right. sense. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Now you have your own website. How do you um, how do you drive traffic to your <clears> website, <throat> if you don't mind us yeah. asking? Well, um, I've personally found that hard to do. So. Yeah, and I don't. I haven't mastered it by right, any right, right. stretch of the imagination. Right. Mm. Right. I, I've more focused on um, 
improving the uh, return on the traffic that is there on the organic traffic. Mm -hmm. And I did some, uh, I joined this group called Build Grow Scale with okay. Tanner Larson. He's like big Shopify guy and he has a whole, um, he manages Shopify stores doing two, three million a month nice. okay, as a partner and has teams optimizing, running, and all of the information that they gleam in A-B test I joined his part of the group where you get all that information. Mm -hmm. Right, You get the theme. Mm -hmm. You get the email templates. Mm -hmm. So um, I implemented all that stuff in my store, uh, really set up Google Analytics and Tag Manager properly so I can see what's happening, mm -hmm. not guessing. Mm -hmm. I like the color purple. That's <laughs> purple. No, Dogs look really good in purple. I don't care what you like. Mm -hmm. What you like is not part of the equation. Right. Yeah. Right? Right. And... Um, and when you when you get the Google Analytics and Tag Manager, if you didn't know that before, you know it then. It after comes looking painfully at the obvious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? yeah. Um, so uh, anyway, so I took my conversion, I 10 x my conversion. Wow. Just with those wow. things on organic traffic. That's amazing. 10x my revenue. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then I started running some traffic because um, my Google Analytics guy, you know, everything's you don't really want to optimize for organic traffic. Right. Mm -hmm because you want to run cold traffic and optimize your site for them, right? Sure. right? So you can scale. Right. So I ran some cold traffic, got some data, um, and had Build, Grow, Scale do an audit of my site, and I got their audit back. Now I'm fixing those things, and then I'll revisit paid traffic. Awesome, mm -hmm. nice. Well, it kind of meets the basics of it. You do PR first, make sure you, you've got a website that's actually convertible before right. you drive things to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, and, and and you know, you can't, you know, where you really perfect it is once the traffic is running, but mm -hmm. you can get it to a certain level beforehand, mm -hmm. yeah. certainly, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but, you know, I believe that the website is a, is a serious revenue channel that should not be ignored, particularly for my, my brand and my niche. Right. Um, you know, I mean, you can scale, you know, million a month. It's mm -hmm. not out of line whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. Sure. and then you're not paying all the Amazon fees and you don't have all the eggs in one basket again. Yeah, and I think that's probably the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah, because that's what, that's what scares me personally is, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. we've been doing this for so long. We've seen every... Yeah, everything that can happen, yeah. and it gets it gets rough out there because if Amazon says no, like, that's it. Like, you're not... Yeah, and if you've been successful, so now you're living off of the income. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And now they shut it down, yep. okay, it's a big issue. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but if it's your side hustle and they shut it down, meh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it sucks, but you're not going to Just got to go do my 40 hours. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Basically. yeah. Right? I guess yeah. I can't take that vacation. Yeah. 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 But, but when you start becoming successful and, and you're some guys, you know, make millions. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, imagine if that pipeline gets shut off. Yeah. Just the the roller coaster, the emotional. Yeah. Oh God. I know. I know. And it's lately, worse than trading stocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because at least you can just jump right it back in Ugh. there. But Ugh. and then lately, it seems like um, I don't know what's going on, but it seems like Amazon has just been kind of quiet on the help front. Like we, I've had a number of friends where their I products. I get the feeling they're just exploding, and, and they, they can't, can't keep up with it. Yeah, I, I feel like that too, because um, I've had several friends where my account was deactivated, deactivated. Actually, all my stores were deactivated mm. um, for something that happened a year ago, and then mm. didn't really happen. And Even then, um, but crickets, like, I mean, we'd send out, we did everything they, you know, um, asked, um, mm. but crickets. And it was just like constant every day, like emails and um, trying to get phone calls because phone calls to Amazon right now is a little, it's rough. A little rough, yeah. After COVID and everything, and then yeah. but I've had other friends where, you know, there's one friend who's selling textile stuff, and they got shut down for, um, like something random that has nothing to do with textiles like uh what even is textiles so like, um, like like clothes, clothes? and yeah um curtains sheets He's like like i didn't know either i just i just found <laughs> out like, a week ago so glad he just asked that question no. <laughs> yeah textiles are like uh like like um, texting apps right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no but i mean anything that has to do with like uh cloth or material yeah, yeah. um but they got shut down for um like poisons like um epa oh, yeah. stuff i don't know like uh, environmental protection stuff but uh, yeah you but don't want to put arsenic in your clothing but it was for like fertilizer but they're like a here's what probably happened with that i'm gonna yeah. tell you right now um 
in the back end, you know, in the back oh, in yeah. the back end fields that yeah. you leave unpopulated. Yeah. I'm sure a competitor came on and was like, Oh, I'm gonna sell that too and added to the listing. Uh, added arsenic or fertilizer <laughs> to an open field. Yeah. And then that flagged Amazon, boom, shut down. Mm. And when that happens and you call Amazon, you're like, Oh, what happened? They're like, I don't know, everything looks fine. They yeah. won't they won't they won't know. Yeah. Yeah. That happened to me. Wow. That's, no, that's, that's rough. absurd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> I am being summoned. Mm. <laughs> um, okay, and I, I was wondering, so obviously you're doing all these things to drive traffic, Shopify, what have you. What would you say as a seller is your strongest, like your strong suit? Mm. Um, um, I'm going to say my strong suit is um, hewing like that word hewing basically means like s sticking to something or like staying close to something hewing to the basics mm. which is add skews launch add more skews launch add more skews right there's and, a theme I think I'm yeah. picking up on <laughs> and I don't profess to be the best guy or even profess to have never deviated from mm -hmm. that. But um, that's my strong part of like recognizing and, and hewing to that. Yeah. Like, you know, because I've ran into people that, you know, they have like one or two products and they're like, Dane, and join us over here. <laughs> Fill this empty seat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know, have had one or two products and they're like, um, oh, I'm, I'm changing my picture. Or I'm changing, should I change these words on my list? It's like, no, dude, just launch another product. Okay, okay. Launch another product. And, that, and I think that was my follow-up question because you give that as an example. But like, I think the problem with a answer that's that simple yeah. is that it is that simple. And yeah. that, give me, I yeah. guess, kind of like the antithesis of that. What are activities that oh. you've been tempted to do that you haven't to avoid Sticking to the basics, hewing. As an example, my number one product, four years old, never changed the images since day one. No shit. Never even changed the bullets since day one. <laughs> and it was number one in the space. I'm like, eh. you know, and then I go and look at competitors. I'm like, damn, those are some good images. <laughs> That's some sexy looking. Oh, oh, he's got some might. <laughs> he's got uh, he's got EBC. Mm, I don't. Eh, oh well. <laughs> If it Carrying ain't broke, on with don't life. break it. Yeah, but then, yeah. but then, you know. Anyway, I, I took the dive and did some EBC because some of these competitors it looks so good. I'm like, yeah. okay, I, I have to up my game. I can't ignore it. Mainly in the area of video for the enhanced brand content. Uh, I don't have video on my EBC. I thought you mentioned that earlier. No ads. Oh, video got it. ads. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, you know, I figured, you know, I saw the competitors really putting their best foot forward. Yeah. And it was better than mine four years ago. And I said, okay, if I wait until these guys are seriously nipping at my heels, it's gonna be too late. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, they'll have the anyway. momentum. Yeah, but but um, but that, that was always my, um, I, I perhaps I'm on the bad side of the spectrum of mm -hmm. like something has to be perfect before I go with it to like, I'm like, nah, just get it up, get it rolling, it's good enough. Sure you know, boom, let's do it. And mm -hmm. then we'll improve it as we go or tweak it or whatever. Remind you of anybody? <laughs> Me. Say you? Yeah. What, the, which side of the spectrum are you on? Mr. I'm Perfect or, or no, the? I'm on, I'm on the roll. really far other end. I'm yeah, like, like just get, no pictures, get it out, put get it, it down. Yeah, Amazon whatever, no said no, yeah. put a white background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're maybe a little bit more to that side than me. Yeah, but my, my but, wife is directly the opposite. Yeah, I would tricky. say I'm more on the opposite yeah. side for sure. Yeah. 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 Perfection yeah. first. Yeah, I don't want to say perfect. Eh, yeah, okay, yeah, perfection first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I was like trying to fight it in my head, and it just wasn't working. <laughs> and that could be, you know, maybe that works for some guys, um, but it's not how I want to roll. Yeah. Well, am I crazy in saying that, frankly, it doesn't matter so long as you get something even remotely of quality up? Well, it just it's your personality almost. Well, there, I mean... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Um, <laughs> Love it. <laughs> there's there's, there's a no launch. ego at this table. <laughs> <laughs> there's a launch algorithm, right? And if if 
you don't get certain uh, criteria met in a certain amount of time. What that is, I don't exactly know, mm -hmm. but basically you want like 30 reviews as soon as you can get them and stuff like that. It just helps you as a springboard and reduces the amount of time to potential success mm -hmm. if you if you hit the ground running, you know, as opposed to get everything up, do a single image, as opposed to doing my method, basically. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Anything yeah. to add sure. to that? Uh, no, I mean, um, yeah, you know, get enough done <clears throat> to massage that algorithm yeah. to have success. Sure. But, you know, um, like uh, I'm coming out with another product and, and I want to redo my packaging, right? Mm -hmm. And um, my assistant the other day, I'm asking her, she's like, oh, why don't we just do the new, wait for the new packaging to launch this product? I'm like, no, <laughs> yeah. I'm not waiting. Yeah, F that. <laughs> I'm not waiting. We're getting it up and we'll deal with it later. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm not into the waiting. Like let's do it now. You know, the new packaging is just fine. I mean, the old packaging is just fine. Like, yeah. it's not hurting me now. Mm -hmm. I'm doing just fine. Yeah. So that's not going to make or break me. So right. so to answer, roll back to your question, <clears throat> um, like, some people would say, no, I'm doing new packaging, so I'm not going to come out with a new product. Sure. Okay, bro, the lack of new packaging, you know, if you're doing 500K a month, okay, the lack of new packaging hasn't hurt you. Right. Mm -hmm. So why would you delay your successful actions for the new packaging. Right. It's idiocy. Yeah. That makes sense. So, um, And anyone who thinks otherwise is just dumb. Yeah. <laughs> so if you I, think I, otherwise, unsubscribe from us now. <laughs> <laughs> so I can, you know, yeah, anyway. So, and I, and I get, um, I can get heated on some topics. What are your heated yeah. topics? Let's go there. <laughs> oh God, really? <laughs> AMZ <laughs> seller. Real talk. Oh, uh, real talk. This well, isn't AMZ seller. Soft pens yeah, and talk. Yeah. <laughs> Pat on the butt talk. Well, well you, you know, you just brought it up. Like, uh, I guess I don't know if my demeanor started to get a little heated there, but like, you know, if no, I. No, you, you need it, a couple more shades of red before I would consider you heated. <laughs> I'm sunburned. <laughs> you know, if, 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 like, like, okay, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. <laughs> I think I got to make sure I say that before the podcast yeah, is over. I think that's a little voice that goes off in every guy's head right after he says that. He just doesn't voice it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. I agree. So, um, but like, you know, to get challenged on that logic uh, would like drive me through the roof. Yeah. And, and it's one of the reasons why I don't work for somebody else. Yeah. You know, like I, I, I went into this company and they wanted me to sort out the issues and find out what the problem is. And after four or five months, <clears throat> I had identified that it's actually the owners of the company are the problem. <laughs> so I'm suggesting that yeah. you fire yourself. <laughs> well, they had some systemic errors. They, yeah. they, they were taking their XYZ dollars out and they didn't want to know nothing from Cheyenne mm. if that should change. Like, so, you know, to put it bluntly, they were robbing the company and um, they were wondering why, like, okay, we started in 99 and we do, you know, 8 million a year. These other companies started in 99 doing 500 million a year. <laughs> okay, well, something's wrong, buddy. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so, so they didn't want to hear it and they didn't want to act upon what was obvious. Right. And so. So you don't want to be like victim to just bad business. No, definitely not. Definitely not. And 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 if I see something that is totally logical, and I don't want to have to deal with any uh, pushback on mm -hmm. that, which is why I don't work for somebody else. I work for myself. Yeah. yeah right. Yep. And and you guys can, I'm sure have have similar experiences or whatnot. But but anyway, that incenses me. It's like, look, I just you know we can see clearly if we do these things, you're gonna boom or whatever. This is why you haven't boomed. And they're like, no. Nah, Let's do something Find else. Find something that's, else. That's yeah. uncomfortable, oh. and I don't like yeah. uncomfortableness. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. Find something that tells me I can take more money out. <laughs> right. Yeah. Are you sure those numbers are right? Mm -hmm. What about layoffs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Doug, how much are you being paid now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what else uh, enrages you horribly? Is there some, some aspect of Amazon that, you know? Oh, 
Well, <laughs> I was like, I actually don't know. Did why I you asked actually that question. ask that question just now? Like, <laughs> uh, 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 no, we better not talk about. So it. long as there's like a solution that goes along with it, because I'm sure there will be people that resonate. Well, yeah. you know, this is like a, a sort of a unique to me thing. It's not so much an Amazon. It's it's a me thing. But like when I do product research, I get a, such a mix of emotions at once, and it's it's like I'm like vibrating. Like it's like. <laughs> missed opportunity yeah fomo agitation irritation like i do you know and i'm like you know anyway i just do product research and, and i get so excited about the potential yeah you know i'm like oh god i could do it you know and it's like oh, i'm gonna crush it and then but then at the same time you'll see i'll see a product that i looked at two years ago and it was like oh yeah i should do that it's gonna be good and now guys are doing like 400k a month with it <laughs> dude yeah right? and that's where that's where the the, the the dichotomy of the of the uh excitement kicks in and you like want to slit your wrists yeah. yeah yeah when i went to china so true. i went to the outdoor <laughs> section i was like hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. You're like vibrating yeah. with yeah. excitement. Like I need, I need one of those, and oh, I need, th I need three of those. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like can I get it now? What do you mean no? I'm, yeah. I'm a consumer now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, I want two for me and yeah. one to test out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's that's like, and, and you know that uh, actually, you know that those emotions I would feel when I would do product research, I actually stopped doing product research because of it. Mm. Wow. And I wasn't really aware that that's why I wasn't launching new products, um, but that was it. And then when I when I spotted that, I got back in the research game and just okay, just deal with it um, and mm. and roll forward. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and there's always like when, like when me and my wife look for a car or a house to buy or something, you know, or a motorcycle. I need one of those cars. Yeah. And I need that motorcycle. Yeah. My wife's like, oh, it's such a good deal. I said, baby. There's always deals. There's always a good yeah. deal. There's yeah. always deals, baby. Don't worry. Look, yeah. there'll be another car. You know. And that actually brings up a good point because I I've been hearing it for the last seven, six, seven years. Amazon's dead. There's no products available. That's baloney. Yeah. There's always it's like exactly like that. There are a hundred different dealerships. There yeah. are a hundred different deals out there. That's not the only one. Mm -hmm. You know. There are untapped areas of Amazon that, you know, you can improve, you can launch into, you mm -hmm. can take over and stuff like that. So, you know, we, like you, we have had our shares of bumps in the roads. Hey, good news, by the way. We got our vitamin store Unlocked. turned on yesterday Thank after gosh. two months. Yes. 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 So much so, so I, I know in the background of your, you know, of your office is like, 70 Amazon boxes filled with vitamins that they were going to trash. So I'm yeah. sure you're happy to get those yeah. back over. <laughs> yeah, well, we got to count them and send them back out. Yeah, sure, but that yeah. was going to be about 20 grand where Amazon, but, well, you're not selling. So this is uh, abandoned inventory and we're mm. going to trash you. Like, nope, send it back. Mm, yeah, because yeah, <laughs> you didn't miss that alert. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, like you were saying, no. there are deals out there. And just like there are deals out there, there are products out there. Well, and I think that the question the question is always like, is Amazon in 2020 still a good deal? Hell, it's the premise of that the show that you know I'm doing the Hannah Hunter Whale show. Yeah. But like, yeah. I don't think that that's probably the right question because any platform can always be a good thing. But it's like, what is the barrier to entry? Yes, that, that might has be changed. More that's changed. That's question. definitely yeah. changed. You're absolutely right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not so you know. <clears throat> how I look for products now, uh, I stay in my lane, stay in my mm -hmm. niche, you know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, because it's easier, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Not because I should, or, or I have friends that like, you know, I mean, I have a friend that started some random new product niche, new, and he's doing like a million a month, like a year and a half later. Yeah. And you're With like huge Grr. margins. But right? then I can, I can be, I'm an example of the antithesis of that in that, we were in vitamins. Uh, actually, we did beef too. We did beef sticks out of Virginia. Hmm. So vitamins, nice. beef sticks. Your, your problem is you didn't do it from South America. No, it was from America. But, uh, and then hair care, and we were all over the place, hmm. you know? And so, you know, just like what I have a problem with is squirrel, you know? Like, 
like jumping on all the opportunities you see. Yeah. 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 I would I mean, meet people and yeah. I'd go, that's a cool product. Are you selling it on Amazon? Cool. Let's, let's do a contract, mm -hmm. you know, and that has its values. Mm -hmm. Like we, yeah. we still have a contract with our vitamin company that is going great, mm -hmm. which is all those vitamins yeah, yeah. buying in my <laughs> office. But, um, you know, there's, that used to be a workable solution on Amazon in that you could just put a product up and and be a little better than your competition. Right. You'd make it. sales. It's not so much the case anymore. You have to treat that as a business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and it's, okay, going business 101 for anyone who's not thinking with this, you have, you have stages of a business. You have kind of where it's just gonna crawl along the floor. Mm -hmm. And then at a certain point, it's gonna start actually peaking and maturing. Yeah. And in that mature process, it's just gonna have this like rocket like growth and then it's going to hit its saturation point right and amazon isn't yet at the saturation point because it's stealing so much market share from every other area but it will hit that point y yeah it, but then there will be something else yeah there's yeah. always deals yeah yeah there's always a new game there's always a new uh there, there's always something there's always a new business strategy or mm -hmm. scheme or yeah. whatever yeah. you know especially the way things are changing in the information age, you know, because mm -hmm. information uh, changes hands so rapidly and ideas yeah. change so rapidly, there's new things emerging all the time. Yeah. So, you know, and I think for, you know, everybody, you know, the new guys in particular or whatever, as soon as you recognize that and have your actual own reality that that is true, it will reduce some of your anxiety about yeah. making money. Yeah. 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 The other thing being, <clears throat> you have to be willing to put the work in. Oh yeah. You know, that's I, like no brainer. Well, it didn't used to be a no brainer because yeah, I guess that might be true. We, when we started, we listed a couple of products and then we went and traveled for the next couple of years. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that was yeah. back when you could. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's not that <clears throat> it's not that, but those products did well. Isn't that right? Yeah. Like, yeah, you, yeah. you know, they guys, still are. guys that got in early and, you know, some of the guys that got in early crushed it and now are like, you know, sweeping the streets. But <laughs> yeah. some of the guys that got in early that with good product and sort of called it along, are still doing really well. And, yeah. and, and, you know, sometimes once it's up and rolling, you know, you might not really have to do too much. Yeah. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But you always run the risk if you kind of, leave it to unattended. Sure, right, and yeah. that was. then some guy who is ambitious and does yeah. have a better mm -hmm. product. And that's precisely what our downfall was, was mm. we left it unattended. We enjoyed it, like, it, don't get me wrong, it's totally worth it. Like, we had two years all over the place. We yeah. had a great time before we had Gwendolyn and mm -hmm. Lorelei. Yeah. And, but our mistake was, was not managing it and not expanding yeah. it. So yeah. it plateaued and then it took a beautiful swan dive straight into mm. the ground. Yeah. You know, and then we recovered partially from that and we're still now, now what we're doing because our, our modus operandi previously was locate a company that had a product mm -hmm. that didn't want to sell or couldn't or wouldn't and wasn't selling on Amazon, broker a deal, mm -hmm. get the product for, on consignment and I only had to pay them when they yeah. sold. Mm. That was great for me because sure. it was pure profit other than sweat equity. Good sure. Model. Yeah. It's a good model until it isn't, because the contract doesn't renew, and they go, "Thanks very much for yeah, your for building well, a brand. We can take care of this yeah. now." <laughs> yeah, which which happened with our two yeah. largest products. They said, "Thank you so much for launching our product into America. We're taking over." Yeah, I mean, yeah. you got to know that's going to happen, and you have to build yeah. that into your business model yes. of like having that constant flow of new brands that you're dealing because you know. Okay, after two years. Or a long ass contract. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my mistake was doing a yearly contract. Ooh, yeah, okay. And yeah. and you know, I wrote it myself and yeah. you know, with no experience in that yeah. at all. I, I feel I did a pretty good job because yeah. they didn't break it until it came time to renew. Yeah. You know. So anyhow, it's it's there are different models out there. That one doesn't work so well long term. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and so now we're actually building our own brands. Well but it's Sorry, go ahead. But that, I think that's a, yeah, fine, it doesn't work long term, but I think it's really good for the guy who wants to bust his ass and yes. and has no money to invest. Yes. Okay, good, dude. I'll, you know, I mean, because cash flow is a huge issue with this business selling on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Like, <clears throat> like I've seen people get crushed from mismanaging the cash flow, yeah. despite the fact that they make a ton of money. Yep. 
um, I mean, this is a cash flow business, yeah. and 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 that's key to expansion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and 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 people don't really aren't aware of that until they're in the throes of figuring it out. Yeah. Sure. And and hopefully, it's not too late. And then. sometimes after they've made their first dozen mistakes, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's interesting because. Kind of, and, I, and I don't want to take it too long because we're, we're we've just hit about an hour. Have I mean, we? Yeah, it's been about an hour. I'm, I'm not crazy. at the board to tell you that we're at <laughs> 45 minute mark. But you know, it's funny because even ignoring any prior business experience, and you guys can let me know if I'm wrong on this. But you're probably but you're not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Amazon's just like any other business. If you yeah. violate basic, fundamental mm-hmm. business, professional, like like basics yeah. mm-hmm. you you leave your business open to just getting crushed by someone else or falling apart on its own yep mm-hmm. yeah definitely it's easy to let that happen laziness is much easier than hard yeah, work yeah. and yeah. when you're making money being lazy it's even harder to do the oh, hard God. work yeah yeah you know i just came up with that thanks everybody. that's good thank you socrates <laughs> <laughs> It's so great. It's yeah, so it's good. And, and a, f- a friend of mine used to say, you know, don't get drunk on the numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, confront what actually is, not what is in the numbers. Like, okay, what does that actually mean? Like, mm-hmm. you're like okay, if I could do this much per day, this much per month. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, and then it's like, I'm rich already. Yeah. No, you're not. I'm a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> and also, don't make the mistake of mismanaging your numbers and spending like you're a millionaire when that million is gross and not net. Oh, God. I made that mistake, too. Oh, ouch. Yeah, You should write a book. (laughs) Jade should write the book. I should should be there to be like... You should be like, Jade, the the book's good. Just just get it out. (laughs) (laughs) Don't have anything. An an, an epilogue only? Fine, just do it. (laughs) It's fine. Get a picture. Put it up on Amazon. Well, good. Any, um, Any last words? No, I don't think so. Um, Get out and vote. Are we going there? I'm not yeah. going to say anything more than that. Just get out and vote. What do we have? I already because we're what's four today? Days. What's today? Today's the thirtieth. I mean, today's the thirtieth. Friday. Get out and vote. Yeah. I mean, I'm either going to be really happy next week or seriously doing a reassessment of what I'm going to be doing in the next. But few years. you must realize that that is literally every American in this country. Oh, I don't know. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's going to affect every American, but I don't know that every American really duplicates the fork in the road yeah. that we're at right now. Yeah. And the yeah. guys who and don't. And you're right. You're right. We should probably trim it there because, like, what we've said so far applies to everyone. But I think if we take that conversation further, yeah, yeah, that's going <laughs> to ruffle them feathers. And that's fine. <laughs> yeah. there's Podcast always, part two. I probably. think everybody's got, everybody's got the message now anyway. Yeah. Wink, wink. There's, there's probably a few bristles going on right now. Yeah, it's now, okay. So, it's okay. Uh, um, <laughs> with that, thank you very much for yeah. joining us on the show. Yeah, yeah. you got it. Uh, for anyone who hasn't done so already, make sure to, we have it up on Spotify if you want mm-hmm. it as uh, audio only. There's like some other smaller services we have it on. We'll yeah. have it on Apple Podcast yeah. one of these days. Yeah, one of those days um, in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Um, otherwise, obviously, it's up on YouTube. So like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Five star, because I Five believe stars. there's a couple places where you can do that. Really? Um, yeah. Yeah. At good. least one. Give them to us. And, you know, unlike Amazon, we can ask you for a five-star rating. That's and right. well, not get shot Am- Amazon can ask you for a five-star rating. I have proof of this. Ooh. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like from, specifically for from, a five-star rating? Yeah. From Amazon. No. Rate us five stars. Oh, yes. Son Maybe we should put it up on the uh, just a put a little pop, just a little hey. rate us five stars. Yeah. <laughs> like just take a screenshot right, of Amazon. this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Have a good day. Cool. Right, man. I'm I'm Jade Coleman. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out. Yeah.